Welcome back to Manum Across New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. I'll show you what's going on on our lovely island of Vaughn Hollow today. I must say, the backlog's getting pretty big. It's 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 being padded out basically for the entire holiday. I think I only need to record a couple more episodes of... I don't know if I've said what series is following on from Cuphead yet. Wait, has Cuphead even finished uploading yet? Wait, well, I should check that because I've not done a thumbnail up for the next series yet. Um, so it's something I need to quickly do on the weekend. Uh, March 4th, okay, so that's when... Okay. So uh, it's literally, I suppose, when I'm on holiday. That's when uh, the first episode of a new series comes out. So hopefully you like that. Uh, but yeah, I've recorded a lot. You know, Cosmic Express, I'm worried they've all been recorded till like the 23rd, 24th. So that's pretty good. Anyway, hello there, everyone. Right now I'm for 100, 6 7 p.m. on Thursday, February 23rd, 2023. Um, I recorded some Cosmic Express yesterday. You, you, you'll see them. They're, they're going to be episodes 27, 28. I felt like I was really unhinged during that episode. Not not, not like in a psychotic way, but just like, I, was a, I was so tired yesterday. And I don't know why I decided to record. Um, even today, I'm, I'm still quite tired. I'm not, not going to say I don't know why. You know, I just haven't been sleeping as well. To be, where am I going? Wait, we're not doing Happy in Paradise. I just haven't been sleeping as well recently you know um sometimes it happens sometimes you sleep really easily for a week and sometimes you just don't not not i'm not like an insomniac or anything i just you know haven't been sleeping as well as i usually have so you know yesterday for whatever reason i just i was like i need to record or whatever and i recorded on cosmic express i must say uh, the, the commentary is nonsensical like i could not explain my thought process at all but i i absolutely aced it in that episode i'm not gonna lie i, I solved so many levels <laughs> in that episode <laughs> Which sort of just got me thinking, it's like, is my sleep deprived brain smarter than I am? I don't really know how to think about that, to be perfectly honest. Like, it's sort of like, like, there's no way your sleep deprived brain is better. Like, it's, people have um, done studies about it, like, being sleep deprived is like, um, like, I don't, I don't know how to phrase this, because I'm going to be like, it's equivalent to being, like, having, like, heavily drunk, like, being heavily drunk or something. That's not what I mean, it means like, I think it was in the context of like driving um being sleep deprived is the equivalent of, of like having like an entire bottle of wine or something like that when it comes to like your reaction speed or something of obviously that's you know asterisk because it's not and i think perhaps heavily intoxicated might be the, um, the actual sort of analogy you might use and you also might ask like how sleep deprived you are i don't really know <laughs> i'm gonna be perfectly honest um, but um, I mean from like your reaction speed and your like decision making or whatever it's it's really really bad people people you know don't don't give it enough credit don't give sleep enough well okay I shouldn't say people don't give sleep enough credit you know I think a lot of people do appreciate sleep but you know don't ignore your body signals if your body signals are like I need to sleep I need to rest you should probably do that <laughs> unless obviously if you're in like a super dangerous situation don't just like sleep like if you're like I don't know a, a yacht driver or something and a cruise line then you you know you being awake is probably better than you being asleep i'd imagine but i'd also imagine there's sort of like you have a rotational shift you can do i i genuinely don't know <laughs> i don't i don't work on um a ship <laughs> to be honest um but yeah it's just sort of like i, d I don't know n n i'm lucky that you know i wasn't doing anything like crazy when I was just tired, you know. <laughs> uh, I was just recording like um, some Cosmic Express videos. I'm just sort of sh shocked um, how good I was. Surprisingly, I don't know if I was that good. I might not, you know, I, I don't watch my own videos again. You know, by the time those videos come out, some people might be commenting and being like, you were just like, what is going on in this episode? I don't know, but um, I, f I felt like I was doing great, to be perfectly honest. Even now, I'm still a little bit tired. So maybe I should record more Cosmic Express, but no. I need, I need to record more of the other series. Um... I feel like I've name dropped it at some point. You're an Animal Crossing. You're, you're no, no, okay. Maybe, maybe we'll name drop it later on. You know, it's a reward for people who stay throughout the Animal Crossing series. They're going to see what the next series teasers are. You know, <laughs> it's exclusive. It's not that exclusive, obviously, but yeah. Um. Anyway, so I don't know. Sleep, sleep deprivation. It's pretty wild. Like, wasn't there some? I feel like I've watched a video about them testing sleep the effects of sleep deprivation on like, um. What have we got? Like um, army, so, like soldiers. That's right. In the like U.S. Army, like the Marines or something. I don't really remember. Um, I mean, I I don't really know much like or anything about the army or serving in the army. So I I don't really know how sleep deprived you are in the first place. But I just remember it was like some old timey. I say old timey. It was probably like nineteen eighties video. <laughs> that's probably gonna make some people very upset if I call that old timey. Um, but it was like a, an old video where it was basically just like showing the effects of sleep depri deprivation. Oh my, oh my. No, hold on. I might be getting this confused of oxygen deprivation, which are both like kind of similar. Isn't like sleep deprivation kind of goes hand in hand with like oxygen de deprivation, or for whatever reason. Um, 
where it's just like you know when you're so sleep deprived you you can you are like completely delirious you cannot make good choices but actually you know what this reminds me of there's this japanese well just like an extremely loud car outside <laughs> i don't know if you heard that um but there's this japanese youtuber i cannot remember his name i think it was a trio of youtubers actually and I remember one video we did, they, they basically just like ate at every fast food restaurant in America or, or something like that. I, I feel like I vaguely remember that. Um, I, I'm pretty sure for some reason in my head, I'm going to do this without even checking. I think this is Vivian or Amelia's bag. Um, but the video I'm thinking of was they had like a series where there was just like, they challenged, one, one of them was challenged basically to stay awake for X amount of like days or something. I think it was like a week continuously or something, which is pretty insane i would say you know and um I, I think he fell asleep after like four days or three days or something which is still pretty crazy i'm not gonna lie um oh um, they sort of like game showified it so it's sort of like um every few hours he can s spin a wheel and then it's like um they'll try out these like sleep tactics to either keep you awake or not keep you awake and it was like one, one of them i remember was like go outside or something another one was like have an ostrich pillow on his head and then there was something like you know having like energy drinks or etc etc um anyway they also did that series a second time i remember with just like some random guest <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It seems insane. Like, it, I, I remember watching that video and just being like, man, sleep deprivation. Like, that, that dude was a zombie, basically, by the, by the end of the series, un, un, unsurprisingly. And I can't believe that their goal was a week, like, without... I, I don't know if it, it was just an incredibly long time. I was like, a week without sleep is pretty hard. Like, I mean... And this is like, you can't sleep for more, more like, five minutes. Like, you could probably do it if you did, like, micro-sleep. So, you know, just, like, close your eyes for, like... 30 minutes and wake up or something um i'm sure people have done that in history in fact pro people have probably stayed awake for more than a week actually hold on let's see longest time stayed awake 11 days and 25 minutes by randy gardner randy gardner sleep deprivation experiment i can't even imagine what that's like so is this without li literally no sleeping I, I must imagine not even like micro sleeps or something it's claimed that Garner's experiment demonstrates that extreme sleep deprivation has little effect other than mood changes associated with tiredness. What? He stated that on the temp tape experiment, Garner had been, among other things, able to beat Dement a pinball. Oh, except for someone else monitored his health and report reported serious cognitive and behavioural changes. Moodiness, problems with concentration, short-term memory, paranoia and hallucinations. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> on 11th day... When he was asked to subject 7, repeatedly started with 11, he stopped at 65. When asked why he stopped, he replied that he'd forgotten what he was doing. <laughs> okay, fair enough. On his final day, he presided over a press conference where he appeared to be in excellent health. I want to prove that bad things don't happen if you went without sleep. I thought I could break a record and I don't think it would be a negative experience. I don't really know what I'm meant to learn from this. He slept for 14 hours and 46 minutes and woke up around 8.40pm and stayed awake until about 75 7 30 p.m the next day he just absolutely messed up his sleep cycle and then appears to be pretty well gardner we've seen him taken one six gardner lit oh, okay so it's sort of just like you know not sleeping it's not that bad you know depending on what you're doing obviously don't go like operating a forklift or anything but if you want to live and you can't sleep for a long amount of time, then you'll probably be okay as long as other people can, like, look after you. You'll, you'll just be, like, you'll be li literally living in a moment and probably paranoid out your mind and couldn't, you probably can't hold any sort of concentration. So if you're by yourself, you're definitely not surviving, I'd imagine. Um, but probably if you're by yourself, you would just fall asleep, I'd imagine. But it seems like he hasn't had any major, like, long-term consequences for the sleep deprivation. Except for he's had serious insomnia. <laughs> so i don't know i mean as a long-term consequence for something really extreme and drastic that doesn't seem that bad <laughs> like I imagine okay like it's never gonna happen you're in a life and death scenario you have to stay awake for like two weeks or something continuously straight you know having long-term insomnia or you know dying i don't know what what is this theoretical like scenario i'm presenting i don't even understand what i'm doing of course like most things are probably better than dying <laughs> what am i talking about uh garner's report has been broken a number of times oh, okay 
This has been so extensively documented. It's difficult to determine accuracy of sleep deprivation because of microsleeps. See, that's what I said. Which a participant might not even notice exactly. I mean, you can't really monitor it yourself. I've definitely microslept like before, like in like <laughs> places I shouldn't, like a lecture hall or something. <laughs> I, I think I've done it in school once. I remember once in class being so tired that I would like time me closing my eyes to whenever the teacher turned around or something, just so the teacher wouldn't like look at me and be like, "Stay darling, sleeping." <laughs> I don't think I would really care. I was a pretty good student anyway, so I'm pretty sure I could fall asleep in one of the, the classes and I'd be like, oh, you know, she's just tired or whatever, but still. Someone stayed awake for 11 and a half days. 276 hours. Toimi Soini. I was going to go sell stuff, but there's not really much to sell. Oh, yeah, we should be probably doing Nookmar mission farming. I forgot. Um, black bass. Group stretching. Okay, snowflakes, group stretching, and deep sea diving. Um, that's doable. Let's do let's do snowflakes first. I don't know if I want to do deep sea diving. It's, it's a bit of a pain. After presumably staying at wait what? The Guinness World Record record was set by Maureen Weston. After presumably staying awake for four hundred forty nine hours during a rocking chair marathon, Guinness World Records. You are crazy. What what are, what are these records? <laughs> because of policy against against maintaining this record, recent editions. Do not provide any information about sleep deprivation. Yeah, probably because that's not something you really want to encourage people to be trying to break. <laughs> I would say. I mean, if you're going to break it, at least do it for scientific purposes, like my, my man Randy Randy Gardner did over here, you know? Let scientists research that. Tony Wright was reported to exceeded Randy Gardner's feet. He's 24 hour video for documentation. Did he do it by himself? That is actually insane. Also, when did Wikipedia get this new, like, Format. Is it, I, I assume it's mobile friendly formatting or something. It looks very weird. Maybe I'm just not used to it. Um. Anyway, so sleep deprivation. Insomnia affects 21 to 37 percent of the adult population. That is much higher than I thought it was. Wow. I don't know. Sleep apnea. Sleep. Excessive daytime sleepiness. School, caffeine, hospital stay. Man, there's a lot. There's a lot to read here, and I don't really want to turn this into just a dear darling reads a Wikipedia article. Although that did just happen for the past five minutes. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna keep a conversational thread going. Um, I, I feel like I've spoken about sleep deprivation before. Hold on. Depri apparently, I haven't. That was really surprising. Anyway, um, oh yeah, so the, these was like Japanese China over they did a sleep deprivation thing, and he he lost after five days. Um. Like, part of me is curious, like, I, I don't know if it's like a, the mad scientist part of me is just like, you know, I kind of want to try, just like, for no good reason. I mean, if, if scientists want to experiment and they need like a, a test subject or whatever, I, I would document it as well, you know, why not? Be like, try staying awake for X amount of hours, just, just cause, just, just to sort of see what happens. You can document the facts, you can see my cognition abilities. I, I want to see the decline in my cognition abilities, basically. As I stay up with sleep duration, because like I, I don't know what the longest I've stayed up for. I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess how long as I stayed up for is probably encroaching on two days, um, but I don't really remember. And uh, definitely, definitely, it's not technically continuous because I almost certainly micro slept throughout the thing. Uh, one, one of the times I can remember is I, I feel like I've spoken about the story so many times, but is when we had a school trip um, to Switzerland, and when we came back, and the flights were just like delayed, 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 delayed. And then we like we only managed to get back in the like we were meant to land in the UK like late late ish at night. I think it was meant, meant to be like six to nine ish or something PM. And then we got back at like four AM, I think. And <laughs> it was something crazy. And I still went to school the next day, which was insane. But, you know <laughs> Not not everyone did. I remember that. But I remember I did. I remember one of my good friends did as well. Anyway, that was um I that maybe that was a day where I basically timed me closing my eyes to my teacher turning around in maths class. <laughs> I don't know why I remember that, but I just do. Um, but yeah, but there's been tons of times I've been particularly sleep deprived. N namely, I'm going to be honest, for university is definitely the moments I've been most sleep deprived. Like falling, kind of falling asleep in lectures, still taking notes. I remember actually one time, I can't remember what lecture I was in. It was for like complex analysis or something. Um, no, you know, I, th I think it was um, like methods or something, which I don't even remember much about, I'm going to be perfectly honest. Um, where I was just like taking notes and then I remember I like 
consciously while I was writing these notes, I was like, I don't think I'm writing anything like properly. And then I, I, I got back to my room. Like, you know, I think I had like, must have had like a nap or something. And then um, like, whenever basically I read through my notes again, I just looked at the page. It was like incomprehensible scrolling. It was like, this kind of looks like the shape of a word, but it's not a word. And it's like my, my, my handwriting just became like five times wider. Like I tried to write an A and it was basically like, five centimeters wide and it just like trailed off <laughs> and i was just looking at it i was like you know what i should probably get more sleep <laughs> before i go to these lectures it was very funny you know i mean it's it very funny looking back probably at the time it was not so funny because i was probably like stressed out with like work or something um school work and all that and but it's like <laughs> looking back at it now and just like <laughs> before me just sort of like slowly nodding off or whatever i mean it happens all the time like surely if you're a university lecturer you, you you basically know that some of your students are sleeping in your lecture there's nothing you can really do about it you're not going to go wake them up you don't know what's going on in their life etc etc right um but, but, but those memories always come back to mind just like the, it's so difficult i suppose to keep yourself awake during those moments like to keep yourself awake you should definitely just like stand up like go like be active a little bit like you know get get the blood pumping get the blood flowing but the thing is you can't really do that in the middle of a lecture can you you can't just stand up and be like, all right, see you, see you, professor. Let me just like go walk about because you, you might be in like the middle of a row. There's like you have to squeeze past like 20 different people or whatever. And like eight different people be the other side. And it's like, oh, it's such a, such a hassle, a nuisance. I was, I was going to say it's such a nonsense. And I was like, that's not what I want. Nuisance is the word I wanted. Um, it's just like you're fighting for your life to stay up, to stay awake here. Especially because, you know, sometimes, you know, the content isn't always the most interesting thing in the world. Sometimes you can fall asleep. Anyway. If, if, it, if this is, you know, as it, things always tend to delve into, or turn, turn into dear darling giving life advice, please just get a healthy amount of sleep. You know, everyone's different. Everyone needs a different amount of sleep. Sleep is one of the most important things. You know, if, you're, if you've got an exam, don't stay up all night cramming. It's actually probably genuinely better just to get some sleep beforehand. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> you, like you reading the information like half a day before, unless you have like, an eidetic memory like a photographic memory you're probably only going to re remember like a five percent of the stuff i'm going to be honest but you haven't already remembered so you know might as well you know trade in that five percent to get like a few more hours of sleep in or a lot more hours of sleep in so you know your decision making process is at like its peak it's at its pinnacle during those exams i really that goes through anything just get just get a good night sleeping you know Sleep is not overrated. Sleep is highly based, is what I say. For real, for real. Anyway, I'm going to have this episode up here. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares are greatly appreciated. Twitter, Discord down below. Hope we see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now. Where's my mouse? Here it is. <laughs>